morning, good morning, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Pastor Vernon, I'd like to welcome you to another edition of This Is The Day, and I hope that you guys are doing well with your social distancing and that God will just continue to <laughs> bless us all during this time. So I invite you to join with me in a word of prayer. Gracious Lord, as we come to you now, Lord, we thank you for this day and we thank you for allowing us to gather here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We ask, Lord, that you just be with us in our time together and that you would bless our time together. We thank you, Lord, for all the many ways you make yourself known to us. Bless us this day. Through Christ the Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. You know, from the book of Galatians 5.22, it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. Now, I want to use for a subject for just a few minutes, for goodness sake. Um... Do you know anybody, and I'm sure you do, who is just plain good? I mean, someone who's just a good person. Think about that for a minute. Good in how he or she treats other people. Good in the things that he or she does. Just plain good. You ever meet anybody like that? I'm sure we all do. And it's a good thing. Can you imagine what this world would be like without good people? People who are there for you, praying for you, and willing to help you. I'm sure we all know good people. I mean, several come to mind with me growing up. I mean, there was a lady when I was a kid who lived a few doors down from my grandmother's house, who, who was just a good person. I mean, sh she was a, a God-fearing woman, but she would come and she would speak to my my grandmother and, and, and myself if I was there at the time, but she was just a good person and she spoke a lot of wisdom, godly wisdom to to me growing up, you know, just a good person. And we thank God for those good people. Good Christian people are God's agents of change in the world. They are found in some of the most unexpected places. From the supermarkets to the mall, the grocery store, the laundry worker, they are good Christian people and other and uh, tons of other places, but they are God's agents of change. Thankfully, good people balance things out. Now, someone might laugh at you when you are having a difficult time, but then comes along someone else who offers help. Good people, someone who comes along and offers help or advice and and give you gems of of wisdom that will help you on your journey just plain good people and you know good people have those traits they have the fruits of the spirit the <clears throat> Christ, good christian people they have that love and that joy and that peace they have that patience that kindness that generosity, that faithfulness, that gentleness, and self-control. Good Christian people bear the fruits of the Spirit. Why? Because they know the Savior. They know the one who is able to change their life. When things go wrong in your life, you might have to deal with heartless and uncaring people. And I'm sure we all have dealt with those as well. But God has a way of sending 
good people along at the right time. And thank God for those good people. Man, I can think about some times in my life when it seems like things have been just like helter skelter. <laughs> I was young and, and coming along in ministry and, you know, something didn't happen quite right. But then God would send good people, a good person who would come along at just the right time and offer a kind word, a word of wisdom, something that would help me on my journey. When we are have been blessed by good people, in turn, we should be a blessing to others. If you've been blessed by good people being there for you, then you should in turn turn around. We all should in turn turn around and be a blessing to others. Yeah, you know, who in your life would classify as a good person? And have you told them how much you appreciate them? Maybe what you should, we should all do this week, if there's someone we know that's in our life who have been instrumental in us on our journey, in our in our definitely it's definitely a good person. Maybe we should take time to write them a little note and thank them, or give them a call and thank them for being instrumental in our life. Hey, that could be your assignment for this coming week. Reach out to those in your life who have blessed you in some sort of way as a good person. And just let them know that you appreciate them. I mean, after all, <clears throat> we're in quarantine. What else can we do? But we can show those who have been there for us that we're thankful for them. Again, the scripture says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, Peace, patience, kindness, or goodness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against such things. So I pray that you're able to reach out to someone this week and let them know how much they have been a blessing to you. Hey, you guys have been a blessing to me. And I'm grateful to be able to come to you and, and share the messages, not only on Sunday, but also midweek. And I pray that God will continue to, to bless you and continue to strengthen you and continue to help you on your journey. You know, sometimes the way of discipleship can be demanding, but God always gives us the strength that we need. So I pray that you enjoy the rest of your week, and I pray that God would bless you. And don't forget, reach out to one or two people. Send them a note or a card or, you know, give them a phone call, you know, and just let them know how much you are thankful for them being in your life. Amen. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, we thank you for those good people who have been able to be there for us, who have been the hands and feet of Christ and have helped us all on our journey. We pray, Lord, that you would just continue to grant them your strength, your grace, and your wisdom. Continue to help us all on this journey, Lord. Continue to guide us by your power and your grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Friends, I enjoy being with you today and pray that you have a wonderful second half of your week. Hey, feel free to, to write us at Hocasson United Methodist Church and know that God is with you. Until next time, this is Pastor Vern saying, Stay safe and stay strong. Goodbye. Bye-bye.